Hey everyone and uh, welcome to a little bit of a different video from me. You guys have been used to seeing me um, or my videos on Philofax or my Midori but today I wanted to do um, my summer reading list, a couple of reviews, um, quick reviews from things I've been reading this summer. As I mentioned before I'm a teacher so uh, you know summer's the only time I get to read for pleasure really during the school year because I'm busy doing other things. So I wanted to share with you some of the books uh, that I've read this summer. So let me pull out my Midori and get my list for you. Um, I do have some good reviews and I have some not so great reviews. So let's just uh, see what I have. So here's my list of uh, what I'm going to show you here. And uh, let's get started. So I read on a couple of things. I read on my uh, regular book, which I still love, but I also have um, my Kindle Fire HD, which was a gift from my in-laws a couple of Christmases ago. And I also have a paper white, which is the majority of what I read on, uh, unless I'm traveling, because this is much lighter than my Kindle Fire. So I usually read on this, um, but I do read on my Fire, and I'm going to show you the books uh, on my Fire uh, today because the, the covers are pretty. So let's get started. Um, first off, I'm going to start with an actual book um, that I read this summer. Um, Mary Kay Andrews is one of my favorite all-time authors. If you're not familiar with her, I'll put a link below. She writes Southern uh, women's fiction. It's funny. It's a great read. It's um, it's a feel usually a feel good um, feel good story, um, and she just makes me laugh. Um, I've read her for years when she was writing under another pen name, but she's writing under Mary Kay Andrews now. Um, and this is her newest book. This is Save the Date. Um, I actually hosted a house party um, before the pre the uh, published date of this book and got to read it early. Um, I love this book. It's set in um, Savannah, I believe, or outside Savannah or Georgia. Where is it? Let's see. Yep, in Savannah, the main character is a independent floral designer who gets roped into uh, plan being a wedding planner for some a very high maintenance couple, and it's um, and then you know her relationships and what evolves from there. This is a great beach read. It has made several of the top ten beach reads from different. Um, different lists and I highly recommend her anything she has written I highly 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 recommend um, I love her she is my favorite she has been a favorite for a long time and if you like mysteries she um, wrote under Mary Hogan uh, I'm sorry Kathy Hogan Trocheck the Callahan Garrity mysteries and they are uh, reissuing those here and there so check her out she's my favorite you can't go wrong with her Okay, let's move on to the things that are on my Kindle, and we'll see how this goes. So, uh, on my Kindle, let's talk about um, one of the biggest anticipated books of the um, of the summer. It is the conclusion uh, to the um, trilogy written by Deborah Harkness. Let's see if I can get this to show. It is the Book of Life. Um, it is the conclusion uh, to a discovery of witches and shadow of the night. It follows a witch and a vampire and their love story uh, and the things they have to go through in order to um, be together because uh, according to um, the governing body that um, oversees uh, the witches and the demons and, or demons, I'm not exactly how sure how you pronounce that, and the vampires, they are not supposed to intermix, and this is the conclusion of their story. Love this book. Um, it was a great wrap-up to the series, and um, I hope she's not finished with their story. I hope that she continues on. I won't give any spoilers away as to what happens, but I hope she continues on with what happens towards the end of the book. So Deborah Harkness, The Book of Life, um, loved it. It's a very long book, but I finished it in a couple of days. Okay, the next one let's talk about um, is this one called The Stories We Tell, and this is by Patty Callahan Henry. Uh, you're going to get a glare on this. I'm going to have to pull up my um, paper white. But um, The Stories We Tell by pa uh, Patty Callahan Henry uh, is fairly new. 
it was, um, again, it, I really enjoyed it. It was one of my favorites uh, so far of the summer. Uh, it tells the story of um, a family, a, a husband and wife who are, um, to me, they're like a, the, um, they're living their dream life. They, the, she runs a letterpress and he runs a digital Southern Gentleman's magazine. And it's the story of what happens when um, their lives kind of fall apart when her sister has an accident and the uh, story of what really happened during that accident and how it will affect their family for um, the rest of their lives. Highly recommend that one. I um, really liked her. That's the first book I've read by her. And I will go and purchase some of her other uh, books. All of these links will be in the description box below um, to where you can find them. Um, and um, hopefully you will enjoy those, uh, enjoy that as well. Another one I have been, I was waiting for since the last book was written. This one is by Wendy Wax. It's called The House on Mermaid Point. It's this one here. It is the third book in a series that follows four women that um, that were thrown together when they lost all their money to a Ponzi scheme. And this is a third book. The first one talks all about how they met and how they came to basically inherit an old house that they had to redo and the daughter of one of the main characters um, filmed it and they got a television show called Do Over and this is their story of the most recent house, the house on Mermaid Point. This one is set in the Florida Keys. The first one was set in St. Petersburg right up the road from me. The second book, uh, let's see, the first one was called Ten Beach Road. The second one is escaping me at the moment, but that one was set in the Miami area. And this third one um, is set in the Florida Keys. Um, loved it. Uh, unexpected ending. Um, I hope she continues the series. I hope this is not the end of the series. So Wendy Wax, if you happen to be watching this, I would love another book uh, with these characters. They are fabulous and your writing is amazing. And I've read everything else that you've written. So I would love another one, uh, another one of your books. Okay, um, The Glass Kitchen by Linda Francis Lee. Um, let's see, can you see that? No, you're getting a glare. I'm sorry. The Glass Kitchen, Linda Francis Lee. I've read her books for a while. Um, they've changed in tone a little bit. The first couple that I read had a little bit of humor with them. This one's a little more serious, dealing with loss of a beloved grandmother, relocation from Texas to New York City. Um, the the um, tension between the three sisters and how each of them have an issue within their life that they are trying to um, deal with and how they do it and how they come together again as a family after being separated for a while. Um, I enjoyed this book. Um, her last couple have been a little on the more serious side, a little more serious tone, um, but I enjoyed it. It was a good book. It's a good read. It's not... Um, not a fast read, but it is a good read, so you might want to check that one out as well. Um, of her books, actually one of my favorite one of hers was called The Devil in the Junior League. That one was the first one book I read of hers, loved it. So if you're looking for something kind of funny, um, read that one, The Devil in the Junior League. Oh, goodness. I'm going to apologize for that. That is the um, yard landscaping people, and I forgot that they come every Wednesday. Okay. Um, let's talk about this one that I just finished. It's called The Ladies' Room. It's by Carolyn Brown. This one is one of the books that I got from the um, Kindle First. Let me see if I got oh. Let's see. Can you see that? Uh, it's this one here. Carolyn Brown, The Ladies' Room. This is one of those I got on Kindle First. And if you're not familiar with Kindle First, if you are a member of Kindle Prime, you can get one book the first of every month for free um, based on titles that are coming up the following month. So you basically can get a book um, one month ahead of published date. And um, I have been pleasantly surprised since I have been um, doing this. There's only been one month that I didn't get a book from them, and that was last month because I just didn't see anything that you know, struck my fancy. Um, but I have read a couple of books that I don't think I ever would have read before. One of them is called Soy Sauce for Beginners. That one was several months ago. It's a book I probably never ever would have picked up had it not been free. 
but um, check that one out too. I'll post that link below. But the ladies' room was hysterical and sweet, and um, every woman who is 40 and over can relate um, to how the main character feels. Her name is Trudy. She, uh, the ladies' room refers to where she heard her two very catty cousins talking about her uh, during her their great aunt's funeral. Uh, Trudy was in the ladies' room, and uh, her cousins didn't know she was there. So they were talking trash about her and her marriage, and everything that she heard, overheard, set the pace for the life changes that she made. And I laughed, I cried, it was very sweet. When this book is available in September, September 4th, I highly recommend that you pick it up. It is a great, great book. Um, I've discovered a new author. Her name is Carolyn Brown, and I will be going to... Um, looking up some more of her books. So that one was really funny. I've also read the new books by Jude Devereaux and Julie Garwood. They are typical Garwood and Devereaux books. Um, one is the True Love series um, and, or Nantucket Bride series, one of them. And then Julie Garwood's Fast Track just came out last week. I read it in like a day. Um, typical Julie Garwood. It's a great story. Don't have to think a lot about it. So if you like Garwood and Devereaux, you can go ahead and pick those books up. They were they were really good. So let's talk a little. Let's see, did I hit all the books that I wanted to talk about that I enjoyed? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's talk about two books that I didn't like. Well, one book I've read, one book I'm in the middle of reading, and I am just a little disappointed, I guess. Um, I've been a long-term fan of Janet Ivanovich. She writes all the books, you know, the Stephanie Plum series with the numbers. The, recent, the most recent one that came out came out in June, I believe. Um, it's called Top Secret 21. And it's time to hang it up, Janet. It really is. Um, the stories have become formulaic. Stephanie gets into trouble. She has a couple cars break up, uh, blow up. Um, you know, her FTAs get away. She spends time moaning between dealing with trying to choose between Morelli who is her on again off again boyfriend who she loves and then between Ranger which is the hot sexy um, security um, person mysterious and that you have she hasn't chosen it's time to choose pick one pick one in the series be done with it there's only so much more I mean how many more cars and apartments can she blow get you know, blow up or set fire to, or how many times can she get kidnapped? How many times can Lula um, get, say she needs a donut? She needs a good clock in a bucket. She needs to eat something. It's time. Pick one, please, Janet. Pick one and have her put her out of her misery. Get married, move in together. Choose neither. Do something. Um, it's time. Okay, which makes me sad because I really have enjoyed the series, but we're at 21 books now. The issues are still the same. The problems are still the same. The balancing Morelli and Ranger, still the same. Move on. End it. Do something. Make her live happily ever after. I don't know. It's just time. That's my issue with these books, but I still buy them. Still hoping against hope that... They're a little different, but they're not, and I really, really hate to say that because I really love her writing style, and the, the story is really funny, but it's it's run its course, so it's time to go. And then the last one, um, and I don't know why I do this to myself, it's uh, The Hurricane Sisters by Dorothea Benton Frank. I have loved her writing for a long time. Um, my, some of my favorite books ever are by her, including the Sullivan Island um, book, um, and her older ones, Isle of Palms was one of my favorites, um, Shim Creek, all of those. Those were wonderful. The last three books she's had out, I believe the last three, I can't, 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 can't get through them. Porch Lights, I didn't finish. It's still in there by my bed. I've had it for years. I still have the hardcover. Folly Beach, read three chapters, couldn't do it. Now I'm looking at Hurricane Sisters, and so far... Same thing. I am probably three chapters, four chapters, maybe not even that far in, and it's the same issue I'm having. Um, the story is not catching me. It's not hooking me, which makes me sad because I love her older books. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I've moved on. Maybe, I don't know. 
but I'm having a hard time reading this. Now, I'll come back after I finish it if I get that far and let you know what I think, but I'm just having the hardest time um, getting into this book. And I've, it's just like I've had the last couple. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. If you've read this book or any of her last three that I have not finished and you disagree with me, please leave me a comment and tell me, you know, does it get better? Do you enjoy it? What did you enjoy about it? Please, 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 please. I would love to be able to finish these books because I love her so much. Um, and then there's one more. Jennifer Weiner's new book called All Fall Down. Totally different than the last book of hers. Um, I liked it. Not sure that I loved it. Um, the main character is a mom who's addicted to pain pills and her stint through rehab. I found her hard to root for. I found her a little whiny, um, but it was an okay book. It wasn't my favorite, but it was it was an okay book. So um, all the links will be below. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, I love to read. Um, so feel free to leave them um, a comment below. I have a new one that I'm starting here. Well, I've got two of them. One is called The Paper Magician, and I by Charlie in Holmberg, and I think. I got that one from the Owner's Living Library on Kindle. And then there's this one that I've had forever. It's called Last Will and Testament. It's just a little one of those little cozy mysteries. And since I am a knitter, any mystery book that deals with fiber or yarn, I'll read. So I'm reading this one. <coughs> uh, so those two are what's on my plate. Always looking for new authors um, because I do love to read. Even during the school year, I do get a little time to read. Um, so leave them below for me. And... Um, that's it. That has been a long video on books that I have read. I've read more. These are just the ones that I have included um, for today. I still have a list. Um, in fact, my list, I haven't even touched my list. Still on my list to read. Let's bring out the Midori again. Let me find my list here. I made a list at the beginning of the summer of things I wanted to read and I haven't gone through half of it. I get, dis I get, um, I get distracted. Okay, so I still have on my list the Goldfinch, which I've heard, I know it won the Pulitzer, but I've heard some different reviews on that. The Cuckoo's Calling, which is um, J.K. Rowling's book, her first one written, not as her, but as, I think her last name is Galbraith. The Fault in Our Stars, halfway through it, I'm not loving it. Um, the Invention of Wings of Sue Monk Kidd, Delancey, um, that one's, you know, coming up. Written in My Heart's Own Blood, which is the Diana Gabaldon um, continuation. Um, that one I'm on the fence about because I'm having a hard time getting through the fourth book and this is like the seventh or eighth, so I don't know. We'll see. Chasing the Sun, which is another Kindle first. That's on my list. Doll Baby by Laura McNeil. Um, Queen Sugar, last, uh, author's last name is Bazile. Belle by Paula Byrne. Gossamer Ghost, which is coming out in October. That's by Laura Childs. I love her. It's set, anything set in New Orleans, I pretty much will read. The Vacationers, which um, I've heard is not as great as, ever, as you know some of the reviews say it is. So those are what's on the books that I had. That was my summer list. I've gotten through one, two, three, four, four of them. But the only reason that is is because I uh, have found other books along the way that have taken the place of those books. So, uh, okay, leave your comments below. If you enjoy these book reviews, uh, let me know. If you want to see that, see some more, I'll do them. If not, this is a one-time experiment. No harm, no foul. All right, guys, have a great day. It's Wednesday. Um, enjoying the last week of my summer break. I go back to work on Tuesday. All right, guys, have a great one. See you later.